you were so convinced that you were the funniest girl in the world. Really uh, now, like yeah. we love all that. <laughs> <laughs> it's time for our final guest of the day or of the morning, let's say. Uh, we have Abdul TJ right here with us. Yes, uh, he is a filmmaker who has written and produced uh, several short films, he, uh, the feature films, as well as TV ads. He has worked on projects uh, including AMVCA-nominated documentary Finding Euphoria, uh, TV films such as Pandora's Box, uh, Split, The Recipient, uh, TV pilot Hunter's Game, and produced ads for many top brands. Mm -hmm. That's the part I like. Many top brands that yeah. pay big money. <laughs> mm -hmm. He's a lead actor in the new hit web series, Recordy, welcome to the show. Great to have you here. All right. And you know one thing that is very interesting <laughs> about Recordy, because yeah. I know that's what everyone is talking about, mm -hmm. uh, the fact that you're like more or less the brain behind it. Mm -hmm. Bro, <laughs> I wrote and produced alongside. It, the story was developed by Diane Rossett, so yeah. but she, we wrote the screenplay and mm -hmm. produced, and I started in it as well. Yeah. So. So, um, you know, um, I love the idea behind it from what I saw uh, online. It looked very international. Um, I, I said just now before we came live that it sounded like, it looked like something that Tyler Perry produced. <laughs> yeah. uh, so what was the whole idea behind the project? Well, we just wanted to do something different from what um, everybody else was doing, what we're used to seeing, what mm. to, the story um, tell love from a different angle mm. and just show something that's what have conversations mm. and get people talking. Okay. So that's what we're going for. Talking oh. about um, getting people talking, uh, when you hear that someone uh, used to, you, someone studied chemical engineering, and mm. you think of all <laughs> the possibilities in that uh, course, especially yeah. the oil part, mm. and then you hear the person quit all of those uh, to become an actor. <laughs> I wonder what, what what caused the transition for you? Is has acting always been something you wanted to do, or well, filmmaking as a whole? Actually, because I just started acting mm -hmm. recently. I started as a writer, then a producer before I started. Right? So well, um, I've just felt like I've always wanted to make film. I remember when I was a kid, I would draw people and name them and cut them out and all that. And my mom would say, "Oh, I don't know what you're doing, but you figure it out." And um, I subconsciously, I was making film, but I just, it just took a while for me to figure it out. So when I was done with m engineering, I just felt, this is what I really want to do. This is what I'm passionate about. So I went for it. Wow. So that, that was actually what from the, but, but what was the reaction of your family members? They've been really supportive. I, they're watching now, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. <laughs> <laughs> uh, very supportive, actually. I, they encouraged me to go for what I love. and. No Nigerian parents, once you give them the the degree, I've studied the chemical engineering, I carry it. Mm. You can do whatever you want. Now. And you know this thing you said about Nigerian parents, though, it makes me think to the fact that most Nigerian parents mm. will tell you that the importance of getting a degree before pursuing what you like to mm. do is so you can be able to make money from it later. Yeah. Do you see that possibility? Like maybe someday you dust your certificate and say, okay, I want to practice. You know, there are times, I think everybody, every filmmaker things about that. There, there are times where you feel like, ah, maybe I could have been in an office working now, but I'm here at 12 a.m. shooting some scene in the middle of the road. Yeah. So you think about it, but I, I don't see myself doing that. I'm where I need to be, I'm supposed to be, in, and I'm comfortable here, so I'll never... Okay, so that, that brings me, talking about comfortable, that word comfortable just hit me. Mm. Uh, there's a particular role you acted. Uh, I've not said anything yet. Uh. There's a particular role you acted in a controversial uh, position. Mm. And when we talk about controversial, you know, mm. when we in Nigeria right now, homosexuality is a very controversial subject. Yeah. So what was it like for you taking up that role? Because I, it, acting is playing something that you are not. Mm. So it was... It, it, I was scared, but it, it was a product. I was part of the writing and the producing, so I knew what I was getting myself into. Mm. So it wasn't such a challenge. I, I was hesitant at first, but I was like, okay, let's just go for it. Because we were telling a story that needed to be told. Mm. So someone has to do it anyway. Right. So, and 
Speaking of stories that need to be told, I saw online a project you worked on called Wheels. Yeah, Wheels. And this had a lot to do with people living with disabilities. Yes. And I find it really uh, sweet that um, producers are working on very meaningful stories, stories that, as you said, need to be told. Tell us a bit about that. One. Yeah, Wills is actually loosely based on a true life story okay. about someone we know. My, mm -hmm. my friend uh, Barnabas Emodi and myself okay. um, decided to tell the story of, of physically challenged kids from the child's perspective because okay. we see these kids and we're like, oh, we, we have compassion for them, but we mm -hmm. never really know what's going on in their mind. Yeah. So mm -hmm. that's what we try to show, mm -hmm. we try to um, express what these children are going through mm -hmm. in their mind and the yeah. challenges they face. So that's basically what this is. Um, so, you know, when you touch on topics like that, mm -hmm. um, it doesn't really feel like you have profit in mind. Yeah. But projects like that are actually more expensive to produce than projects where maybe they're just slapstick mm -hmm. and they make people laugh and then you move on. Yeah. So, have you ever felt pressured to, you know, go over to that side where the money is definitely raining in these mm. days? I think the best thing is to find the balance. Mm. Do the projects you are passionate about mm. and you, the stories you really want to tell mm. and also do stories that mm. the money is good. Okay. So you <laughs> so you're, the that you're so, you're, you're mm. so interested in quality, which mm. I find very commendable. Yes. Uh, I really hope you're putting in your projects for international recognitions mm. as well. Yeah, mm. we'll specifically we submitted for every international festival you can think of. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone. Okay. So we are hoping to hear back from them very mm. soon. So I like the fact that you um, you've dabbled into the advertising oh, yeah. industry, and I kind of feel like that's what's funding this passion, passion, <laughs> passion that's going on. Because some am amazing, um, commendable brands, international brands, yes. you've worked with them on making their commercials and mm. things like that. Yeah. So um, is the money as good as they say? They make it seem, and if not, really, oh no, if yes. Um, would you ever consider just staying on that lane and leaving fashion? Uh, the money is good. <laughs> <laughs> it's good, I'll say that. <laughs> but, um, no, no, I don't see myself just doing ads. Mm. Uh, I really, I, I, feel, I see myself as a storyteller. Okay. In as much as ads is story in 30 seconds or mm -hmm. more, yeah. I, I would really like to express myself more. So mm. um, I would not want to be boxed into just doing ads. Okay. Even though the money is really good. The money is good. <laughs> the money is good. Yeah. <laughs> so looking back at how far you've come, and yeah. of course, uh, how much further you want to go, mm. um, what are your plans, let's say, for the next five years? What do you mm. hope to have achieved? And what are the, things, what are the plans you have towards achieving yeah. that? Well, um, I just started my production company. Wheels is actually the first project we're oh, doing under okay. my production company. Okay. So I intend to grow that to an international level and where we can, um, when Hollywood, Hollywood will come and meet us, mm. instead of us going to meet them. Yeah. So I want to get to that level where you th when you think of a Nigerian filmmaker that you want to reach out to, I'm doing the best thing you want to reach out. You oh, have the only one being, and mm. I like that about you. you no, know, on, on a more serious note, it, it, it seems so much like, well, I, I, I was born for this. I yeah. know what to do. I know how to handle it. And that is how many of the greats start. So, so really, much. I'm wishing you the very best. Thank you yeah, so we are, we are. Really uh, now, Recordy yeah. uh, is um, on. It's a web series. Yeah, it's a so web it's not too. on, you know, TV. Yeah, it's on, it's on YouTube. So it's you on can YouTube. Just Okay. Are you planning right. to bring it to um, TV? We are looking at collaborations in how we can take it to TV, okay. but okay. for now, you can just watch it. When, when it's being produced, yes. um, you know, I, well, cause, okay, this is just based on what I've heard. When web series are being produced, they're produced with the internet in mind, Yes. right? Um, not with TV in mind. So would you have to make a different version? Would you have to have a TV edit? How would that work? Uh, no, like um, right now, with so many online platforms yeah. like um, Netflix, and mm -hmm. the standard of um, mm -hmm. films online mm -hmm. is uh, equal to the ones on TV. Okay. So it's, they're already made for okay. to cut across all, all right. platforms. So, and we had that in mind while we were making records. That's why you right. say the quality is that good. Okay. So right. that when we need to, if we need to transition to TV, we won't need to do much. We'll just take it there. Okay. All okay. right. Awesome. Uh, all right, so I'm um, talking about transitioning. This, yes, so we're about to transition you from <laughs> this conversation to having a very nicely well prepared breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he's been looking forward to this. Yes. Break. So 
Oh boy. Anybody who knows me knows I love food. So. Thank you so much for joining us. And <laughs> now, join MM and Tokwe in, in the, the kitchen. kitchen. Yes.